hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl by party heaven welcome back to another episode of create with me and today we are setting up a naruto themed birthday party for an 11 year old and the colors i'm using in this design is burnt orange in burnt orange pastel yellow in white stone by tough text in white pastel blue in white so those were the colors i used for this design and then i'm using my backdrop in two different shapes now the smaller backdrop is actually a full-on two meter tall backdrop but it breaks into half so i decided to use just one half of the backdrop and leave out the, the other half so it's something you could you know you could do uh, because the other half would not stand alone, I just added it. I attached my IKEA stands to it as I'm doing here with 260Q and it was just, you know, random touch, you know, and everything just came together because initially I was going to use the full backdrop, but then I thought, oh, the full backdrop might just be too big to go in my car at that moment. Um, so I decided to like, just use the smaller backdrop. And just attach it to an ikea stand and here we go next i'm going to be putting my you know balloons around the backdrop stands um so the other backdrop the the, the square shaped one you could easily get it in ebay on ebay or amazon it's uh i think it's a shop fitting kind of frame so you can easily find it um on that shop fitting stands um and i just painted it into black the other shop backdrop i got it from Alstons.co. it's based in the uk but i'm sure you can find it in, in aliexpress or alibaba um i'm not sure if Alstons ships worldwide but you could check their website i'll put a link below so i'm attaching my garlands now and trust me this is just a random design coming together um, I'm not one to like draw what I am about to create. I just like everything coming from my head. Hopefully my head won't blow up. You're always doing that. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't really... In the past, yeah, there are times when I find it overwhelming, I would draw. But since I started doing more of organic designs, um, I just think up the shapes and how I want it to look from my head. And then I gain inspiration from people that have, you know, created design designs of their own and i just create off mine from what they've done you know uh, creativity is is how it's contagious basically so when you see someone else's you can just put a spin on it and do your own magic so in this case i'm just doing i've got like mini clusters so i've got mini clusters of four um and some of the clusters i made into mini garlands um and i just use it to like build um in the past i would first make a long garland but now i don't do like a long garland i think i prefer the you know the mini clusters of four eight and then putting them together to kind of like create a shape and that's what i've done here so it, it's easier when you want to create a shape in this in designs if you do not do like a, a long straight garland just do clusters put them together and you see how wonderful it would look so that's what i just did here every information on where i got my supplies from you would find in the comment section if you have a question on, in regards to the design for that um, guys just drop a comment in the comment section and i'll respond to you there um enjoy the rest of the video because this is just a create with me it's not a full-on it's not it's a tutorial but it's self-explanatory explanatory so i don't want to bore you with my voice i hope you enjoy the rest of the video if you have any questions at all let me know in the comment section i'll respond to you there enjoy enjoy and i'll see you same time next week bye guys i just remembered to mention this i actually did the cutouts myself on my silhouette machine do you have a silhouette machine or a cricut machine how often do you use it do you use them to do your cutouts let me know in the comment section if you want us to like do a video on that do let me know bye